Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I have a homeschool haul to share with you. These supplies are mostly from Ward's Science. This is a new vendor that I am trying out so that I can get some science equipment for an upcoming physics main lesson block and I think I might use them again for some of our other science main lesson blocks. Uh, I don't know much about this company. There are mixed reviews about the products as well as the prices on their website. So please check them out thoroughly if you intend to use them. Now, there are some things that I ended up buying on Amazon because the prices were better. There are some things that I ended up buying here because I felt like they were gonna come with more information on how to use these products because some of these things, I don't know how to use them with our physics main lesson block. And so I was uh, hoping that it would come with either directions or uh, you know just pointers on how to perform these different experiments. So before I show you the things that we got, I do want to show you the curriculum that I'm using because the approach to physics is going to be a little bit different for the grade six student. Uh, we're using a Waldorf curriculum. This is by Live Education and the physics curriculum is repeated in seventh grade and eighth grade, but it is more complex with each year. So the introduction to physics, which is light or heat, light and sound is going to be very simple. It's going to be mostly demonstration and observation. There's not going to be any math involved and there's not going to be, I think, any variables that the demonstrations are going to be performed by the teacher and then there's going to be some discussion and then you're going to draw it into your main lesson book and you're going to write about it. And so it's, it's very simple to begin with. I also have this book called Physics the Waldorf Way. This uh, author has books for grades six, seven, and eight. Now I don't have grades seven and eight to be able to compare with how it is for grade six, but my guess is that it's pretty similar to the curriculum that I previously showed you in that grade six is more of an introduction to optics and heat and uh, and acoustics. All right, so the materials that we got are to help us in uh, that journey. And so I went through the curriculum first, and then I just found just areas that I might need some kind of equipment in order to demonstrate the the principles in that lesson. And I don't have stuff for every lesson, so some of the things are just things that you can find around the house, like a giant fish tank in order to do one of the the experiments or demonstrations rather. All right, so this is uh, cylinders that are wood and metal. Now this is a pack of five and you only actually need one. Uh, this particular company caters to classrooms and so the products uh, some of them are intended for each of the students to use and so that's why for this for instance for this one I really only needed one maybe two I'm not going, going to be having five students at one time doing this project so there are extra for this particular uh, demonstration so this has wood on one side and then metal on the other side and this is for a, the, a thermal dynamic uh, demonstration. So kind of neat. We haven't tried any of these out yet. I can't tell you how well they work, how easy they are to use, but I will be having more demonstrations on all of these physics uh, projects as the um, as our school year continues and so you can find out more information about this main lesson block down in the description box below because as we do these different lessons they will be posted in a playlist all right so we also this is also from Ward Science these are resonance pipes and there is a, a similar instrument that is on Mercurius, which is a Waldorf website that I really, really wanted to get. But the price on that particular instrument was in the hundreds, whereas this one was a lot more affordable. I don't know the prices for these materials, but they did not exceed about $30. So I think between $15 and $30 was roughly the price I paid for most of these items. Okay. So, okay, so these aren't connected. So these are all different lengths. And so they will produce different sounds. And it also comes with a tuning fork. Okay. And so this will make up part of our demonstrations for the acoustics part of that main lesson block. All right, moving on, we have 
Oh, this is gonna be really fun. I can't wait to use this one. This is the ball and ring apparatus. Now, I I uh, also saw this on Amazon, and I ended up getting it from Ward's Science, specifically because some of the products from Ward's Science actually comes with just like an explanation of how to use the product. Now, I can't say for sure if you purchase this from Amazon, whether it would come with a same the same kind of instructional sheet, but I did want to make sure since all of these experiments are new to me, I want to make sure that it came with as much information as possible to help me along on this journey. There are a couple of things I'm going to show you later on that I got from Amazon that were also available at Ward Science, but the price was just a lot more affordable from Amazon. So you'll, you're going to have to do a little shopping around around and figure out what's going to work well for you. So the biggest complaint that I've seen about this particular apparatus is that the they, it didn't work properly. So right now you can see that it slips through the ring, the ball slips through the ring, and it just has enough space. So the, the point is that when you heat up the ball and try to fit it through the ring, it will have expanded and it will not fit through. And you can also be more dramatic and, and slip it through and heat it up and then try to take it out. Okay, so uh, that is something that we're looking forward to trying out. And uh, that is for the thermal dynamic part of the lesson. All right, something else for the thermal dynamic part of the lesson is this set of balls here. They're very heavy. This is called energy transformation balls. We've already tried this out. As soon as we got them, we we're really excited to try it out. Totally works. Um, it's a lot of fun to use. So you definitely need these nice heavy metal balls in order for this particular experiment or rather demonstration to work. And that is again for the thermodynamic part of our lesson. Okay, we have the uh, conductor. This is the five elements conductor. This is our first exposure to using Ward's Science. There were a couple of other vendors that I was looking into, but this one had most of the supplies that we needed. Uh, the, the one thing I want to say is that um, I believe customer service was pretty spot on. I did call about something, but the their shipping took forever like far longer than any of the other things that we purchased uh, we placed a lot of purchase um, a lot of orders at the beginning of the school year and this one took so long to get that we ended up shifting our main lesson blocks in order to wait for these materials to arrive so i'm not sure if that's just because it was the start of the school year or they're just the, the kind of company that's going to take you know six to eight weeks to arrive maybe less maybe say three to six weeks to arrive okay and you know if you're going through through Amazon, you get kind of spoiled with that, you know, two or three day delivery. Uh, this, so that's just a, a note on that for word science. Okay, so this is the five metal conductor, and it comes with the letters uh, around, you know, the base here so that you can identify each of these metals. And, and it comes with an instructional sheet. This is the one thing that I noticed that was on Amazon, but I do not see that it came with an instructional manual, and that's why I ended up spending just a couple dollars more to get it from Ward Science for this particular, just this one single sheet of paper. <laughs> All right, so that is also for the thermal dynamics part of our lesson. All right, so I believe that was all that we got from Ward's Science. I wanna just take a minute to show you quickly the other things that we got for this physics main lesson block, but we ended up purchasing them mostly from Amazon. The first thing is a prism, and this I just decided to get the one single prism. I believe at Ward Science they had possibly a whole bag of prisms. The cost was more and I didn't need that many since I am a homeschooler and we just need the one for my student. I decided to go through a different vendor for that particular thing. If you have multiple students and you want each student to experience what, you know, experience the prism and, and how the light is uh, separated, then you may choose to purchase that whole little bag of prisms. I, I can't remember how many were in them, but it ended up being a good deal if you had multiple students. Something else that I got from Amazon are these tuning forks. Oopsies. And uh, this, you know, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with how to use all of these products, so I can't even tell you much about them, whether it was a good deal, whether these are good products, how they compare to other products, but this is something that we also got for the acoustics part of our physics main lesson block. 
Something else that we got that I is not 100% necessary as a homeschooler. We can always use our kitchen stove for this, but I went ahead and I got a glass alcohol lamp. So if you are in a chemistry lab, or if you remember this from when you were in high school, you'll notice that the Bunsen burners were all hooked up with a gas line, and I didn't want to get a proper Bunsen burner because we don't have a gas line for that purpose, and so I went ahead and got the alcohol gas, or sorry, glass alcohol lamp. I cannot tell you whether this is going to get as hot as a Bunsen burner. My guess is no, but I honestly just don't know. But I went ahead and I got the denatured alcohol, which is the fuel for the Bunsen burner. I'm sorry, for the alcohol lamp. And we are going to try using this in order to do all of these different experiments with thermal dynamics. And if they don't work out or we just can't get the right temperature or it's just not something that we can control as easily as our kitchen stove, then we'll just move to the kitchen stove. But I went ahead and I, and I got that as well. Along with that, we also got this stand, which is really nice and durable, and it comes with the, uh, what do you call this, the cylinder, and the pole that goes inside. Okay, so this is the basic uh, stand, and then you can get all kinds of attachments to go with it. And so this is, uh, let's see, this is the ring that you can then put, say, a glass flask underneath, and then you can put your alcohol lamp below or your Bunsen burner below. You can run different experiments, which reminds me there are two more things that I got from uh, Ward Science that I forgot to show you. I got the Bunsen burner little uh, stand, I suppose. Oh good, and it and it and it fits properly. Um, and so I I don't actually need this particular apparatus for the for the first uh, unit that we're doing with our physics unit, but I figured that we may need it as that science uh, main lesson block continues. All right, so one more thing from Ward Science, one more thing from Amazon. These are lenses for physics. Now, this is when you're getting things from Amazon, or at least from the vendors that I purchased from Amazon, because there's tons of vendors now on Amazon. Uh, it didn't come with anything. It just came with these lenses. It didn't. It didn't explain what any of these lenses were. And so this is kind of problematic if you're like not sure how to use these within your lessons. And that's why getting it from a science vendor is probably a better idea unless you're really familiar with how to use them. Because I know that Ward Science had an amazing apparatus for these different lenses. A whole entire like a, 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 I don't even know what you call it. It looks like a ruler and you can set the different lenses at different spaces apart and see how you can look through them and see how they work. So that probably would have been a better idea than to purchase them from Amazon. The only thing is that the price difference was pretty significant. So that's just a little uh, tip on that. And the last thing that we got is this crystal radio. Uh, this is by Scientific Explorer. They have amazing kits. We've purchased other kits by this particular manufacturer. This is really lightweight. It almost feels like it's empty, but it is to make a crystal radio and this will be for um, part, I can't remember which lesson, but for one of the lessons in our physics main lesson block. All right, so there are probably a few more things that we are going to need that are not shown here. So if you want to see how we're putting together that entire main lesson block for physics for grade six, then check the description box below for that video and that complete playlist. One last thing I want to show you are uh, these little glass bowls and the holder for them. We got this from Mercurius and it is a Walder Fender and this is for water watercolors. We are going to be observing the complementary colors. So you, you know, you paint like a little green circle on a white piece of paper and you stare at it for several seconds and then you close your eyes and you can see the complementary color when you close your eyes. And so uh, this is going to come in handy for that, but it was not from one of the measures that I showed you, but we're going to go ahead and mix our watercolors in these different dishes and make our own DIY little optics cards with those. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have used this vendor, please let me know about it down in the description box below. Let me know how much uh, you enjoyed the products that you got and whether you enjoy this vendor. But more importantly, if you have other science vendors that you love, I would love to know about them. Please share them down below in the comment section. If you want to see what we are doing on a daily basis with our homeschool, don't forget that you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.